learned uh, as you uh, tour around the island this afternoon is that uh, a lot of the uh, buildings, structures, roadways even you see, uh, a lot of things were built for one reason and then changed uh, as the years went by. And, uh, one thing was sort of built on top of the other. And so uh, sort of a good example right here, you got the guard house uh, behind us, that first building in 1857. And that building on top of it was added a little bit after the turn of the century and was used as sort of a, a schoolhouse uh, for military convicts to sort of teach them a trade, to teach them uh, discipline and how to rejoin uh, their um, uh, regiments and their uh, active duty. Um, so where we're standing here, this is all that's left of that lower prison. This uh, red brick wall was the original uh, lower prison, uh, the uh, cell block that was built right here in this area. And so the tunnel used to basically continue sort of under the lower prison here, be over our heads, uh, three tiers of cells, and uh, that is where uh, Barncho and Slowlux would have been brought uh, to be incarcerated here at Alcatraz Island. And uh, ironically, one of the men that they served time here with was a soldier uh, of the United States Army, a private by the name of John Long. And John Long was here because he deserted. He uh, shirked his military duties, he ran away, and uh, came uh, out to the city of San Francisco. Uh, where he was stationed was uh, up by the Oregon border out of Fort Klamath, and he was uh, one that engaged and fought in the Modoc War uh, on the other side, of course. And so uh, he was uh, convicted of desertion. He served a year here uh, at Alcatraz Island, and then he was uh, sent to rejoin his uh, company, which was now at Angel Island, which is that island just uh, behind us there. Uh, Fort McDowell was located, and so uh, John Long was serving his uh, rather... Uh, he was serving in active duty uh, on uh, Angel Island there, but he didn't stay very long. He stole a few hundred dollars uh, from his fellow soldiers, and he uh, deserted again. He went AWOL into San Francisco, and he was recaptured. He was brought out here to Alcatraz a second time, and that was the same time uh, right about that Barncho and Slowlux had arrived. So he had these uh, two former enemies, uh, both uh, prisoners here in the same prison uh, for the same war, uh, more or less. And so it's kind of ironic they have uh, enemies uh, together here. And it would sort of get uh, more ironic in that uh, John Long was uh, his second time <coughs> being in military prison now, his second time getting in trouble uh, maybe during his uh, service. And so rather than uh, going through the shame of the second uh, court martial of that humiliation, uh, John Long actually uh, took his own life, committed suicide. He hung himself in his cell uh, here in the lower prison. And uh, he was taken over to Angel Island to be buried uh, here at Alcatraz. The island is literally a uh, rock. And you've probably heard it called, called the rock many times. And uh, there's no cemetery here, so any soldiers or military prisoners that died at Alcatraz were sent uh, right over there to Angel Island. And uh, when John Long was buried, he got the uh, full, mil full military honors in that he had not been convicted yet of, his, uh, of any uh, crime. And so if you were a military convict here at Alcatraz or in any military post, you'd be buried with a plane marker that just had your name and your date of death. And so John Long was able to sort of preserve his reputation in that in his marker, in his final resting place, it has his, uh, his rank and his unit number and the Christian cross uh, to designate um, his status as being more than a military convict. Now, unfortunately, about uh, four months later, Barncho out here at Alcatraz Island, it was uh, probably doing work around the island. Military convicts were required to work, military prisoners, and uh, they basically built the roadways they were walking on. They built uh, a lot of the buildings and did a lot of breaking the rock. Uh, basically, they can big rocks and little rocks and throwing it over the edge. And so uh, Barcho, and sometime during his two years at Alcatraz, uh, contracted tuberculosis, and uh, he died here on the island, and he too was taken over to Angel Island for burial, and he was laid down in the plot uh, right next to John Long. So, I uh, yeah, still figure, how would you like that? Uh, to uh, get a life imprisonment for fighting in a war uh, against the U.S. Army and then being buried uh, next to a guy you uh, took up arms against. So, uh, when Barcho uh, was buried, he was uh, getting laid right next to there, but for about 70 years, these uh, unlikely neighbors uh, lived, uh, lived. They uh, laid peacefully together on Angel Island, their final resting place. But in 1947, the base at Angel Island closed, and the Army uh, disinterred the 142 uh, military soldiers and uh, prisoners that were there, and they relocated them. Yeah. So he comes back without the people. Yeah.